In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings, God's good people, and welcome. Today is Wednesday, the 28th of July, 2021. It is Wednesday of the 17th week in Ordinary Time, Church Year B. You are listening to Catholic Meditation. I am Father Blessed. Good morning and thanks for joining us. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the book of Exodus, chapter 34, verses 29 to 35. The responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 99. The response to the psalm is, you are holy, O Lord, our God. The gospel is taken from St. Matthew, chapter 13, verses 44 to 46. I read from the gospel. At that time, Jesus said to the crowds, The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field, which a man found and covered up. Then, in his joy, he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls, who, on finding one pearl of great value, went and sold all that he had and bought it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The theme for today's meditation is Heaven is the greatest of treasures. Do all to get it. Heaven is the greatest of treasures. Do all to get it. Beloved of God, I have seen people who admire something and want to get it. I tell you, they stop at nothing till they would have got what they admire. They save money for it. It could be their dream car. It could be a phone, a house, or whatever gadget. But I tell you, because they treasure it, they do all within their power to acquire it. It is the same even of certificates or degrees. If you treasure it, 
if you know of what value it is to you, you will place much importance to it and do all to get it. The bottom line is, you will stop at nothing to acquire what you treasure. A treasure is something of great value to you. And what is of value to you may not be of value to another person. A value that you place to it determines how much you treasure it. And because you treasure it, there is no price to it. You can readily lose all, give away all, even nearest and dearest, just so you keep your treasure. Some people treasure their life, and they will readily sacrifice and let go any and everything that comes between them and their lives. Some treasure their family. For others, it is their work. For others, their friends. Others, their property. Whatever. But our gospel today invites us to make one treasure the utmost. Make it the number one. The first of all treasures. In fact, it is the supreme treasure. And what is that? It is heaven. Jesus explains in two parables about making heaven our treasure. Let not even your family, not even your friends, not even yourself come between you and your heaven. The gospel tells us of a man who found a treasure in a field. He hid it from other people so that they could not see it and he went sold everything that he owned just to buy the field. You see, he sold all that he owned to buy the field because he had found a treasure in it. Also, a merchant looking for fine pearls. Finding one of great value, he too sells all he owns to buy it. The key words of today's gospel are treasure, sell, and buy. You see something you treasure. You go sell all you have to come buy it. Dear God's good people, what is that thing that you treasure? What is that thing that you treasure most among all your treasures? In today's gospel, Jesus tells us, if there is one thing to treasure above every other thing, dear friend, let it be heaven. Treasure heaven above every other thing. If heaven is your treasure, you will sell all that prevents you from acquiring it. It means you give away everything so as to acquire heaven. This is what it means to sell everything in order to acquire your treasure. Which means you deny yourself everything and anything that comes between you and your treasure. What is it? You need to sell in order to buy heaven. This is the question to answer today. What is that thing or those things that you need to sell in order to acquire heaven, which is your treasure? Look at your life, dear friends. There is something or there are things that stand between you and your heaven. You need to sell them if truly heaven is your treasure. Is it your family? Do they come between you and your heaven? Is it your work? Does it come between you and your treasure that is heaven? What is it? Is it even yourself? Are they your weaknesses? Beloved, till we are ready to sell everything, we cannot be ready to acquire our treasure. This is the challenge of today. Look at what you treasure. And if there is anything we treasure, we should treasure heaven above all else. And if heaven is your treasure, that beautiful field that you have found, go sell all you have in order to acquire it. If it is that very beautiful pearl of great price that you have seen, go sell all you have in order to acquire it. Dear friend, let nothing stand between you and your treasure. Let heaven be a number one treasure. And let us sell everything and just anything 
that will prevent us from acquiring heaven. Those things that you know will rather lead you to hell. Sell them, beloved. Detach from them. And what does it mean to detach? It means to dissociate yourself from them. To cut yourself off from them. In other words, this is what it means to sell them away. It means to give them away. Those weaknesses. Those friends. That family. That thing that you know stands between you and your treasure. Let us pray for that grace that heaven will always be our number one treasure and that we will be ready to sell and give away any and everything in order to buy it. Dear friend, heaven is a great treasure. Do not miss it for anything here on earth. For what does it pay you to gain the whole world and lose your soul? Heaven should be your great treasure and do everything that is possible within your power to get it. Amen. Catholic meditation with me, Father blessed. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come on you and remain with you forever. Amen. <laughs>